Lake Erie's ecosystem has recovered, allowing the walleye fishery to prosper. Recreational and commercial fisheries have benefited from agencies like the Ohio Division of Wildlife around the lake, partnering with the Great Lakes Fishery Commission to collaboratively engage in adaptive, science-based management to ensure long-term fishery sustainability. We're in what they call the western basin of Lake Erie, on the north side of Ohio's north coast. This is not just a great place to fish, but it's also a success story as far as conservation and science. It took a lot of years to get Lake Erie ready for this, but now we're on a path of sustainability that has never been seen before in the Great Lakes. This phenomenal fishery of Lake Erie generates a lot of economic value for Ohio. Statewide, it's an $800 million industry. And we want people to come here to fish for sustainable resources. We want them to spend their money, whether staying at hotels, gas, lodging, restaurants, fish and tackle. We want them to spend their money up here and enjoy Ohio. In order to create a sustainable, popular fishery, many hands came together to bring Lake Erie back from a past of neglect and misuse. We saw the Cuyahoga River burned in 69. The lake became the poster child for pollution problems in this country. We think the very next year, US EPA is formed, NOAA is formed, we celebrate the first Earth Day. It's all because of how we as a country responded to that event, the burning in 69. By 1985, Lake Erie becomes the walleye capital of the world. So we have a huge improvement in the ecosystem, but it took more than simply an ecosystem improvement. We also had to greatly improve our ability to manage the fishery. If we go back 50 years, strong pollution in the lake uh, really made it tough for fish to re reproduce successfully. And for a while, walleye were extremely scarce. And as the Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement took effect in the 1970s, as fishery managers got more and more information, they began to more deliberately set what they call quotas or total allowable catch. And that process began in 1970 it continues to this day, where the fishery managers share their information and deliberate over how many fish they can take out to sustain that natural reproduction, which is so important to them. Walleye fisheries in Lake Erie should be great for the next many, many years to come. And those efforts continue. When it comes to the health of the fishery, even charter boat captains become citizen scientists on the water. This will be our seventh year now where we go out and every once a week we go out and get water samples and these go to Stone Lab and they do the full uh, chemistry on it and we do random studies wherever we're at that particular day when we're fishing. Uh, so we have all the locations set down and the plots that you see now there's dots all over western Lake Erie to see where we've done and it's been uh, actually all over uh, the various colleges now everyone uses this data it's very uh, verified and uh, it's a good set of data and we can see what's going on. We asked the people we interviewed how they really felt about Lake Erie. There's nothing more fun or more pleasant for me than getting out on Lake Erie, spending the day on a boat. You know, even if you don't catch fish, it's beautiful out there. The thing is with walleye right now, we know we're gonna catch fish. <laughs> we kind of look at this lake as my lake and obviously it's not, but we all look at it that way. Those are our fish, and we're trying to protect them. It's kind of like it's our backyard, it's my backyard, and I want it to be here when my grandkids come out here and they can do the same thing we've done all these years. Lake Erie is the walleye capital of the world, and we have the highest catch rates of walleye and the most walleye in the world. This wouldn't be possible without the assistance of the Great Lakes Fishery Commission, Ohio Sea Grant, and Michigan DNR, with valuable input from partners like the Lake Erie Charter Boat Association and the Polish Fishermen's Club. For our 50th wedding anniversary, Fran and I brought uh, 27 of our family members uh, up here. We stayed in Sandusky. Uh, we spent a day on, on Lake Erie fishing, had a great, great time. And it was, uh, so it means a lot. I fished you know, in Lake Erie as a kid uh, with my dad and with my mother, uh, so it's a long time family tradition and it's something that is very important to us.